Hello everyone, Ryan here with Product Impressions. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a new vacuum that I just got. This is a Shark Lift Away, so essentially the canister part here is supposed to just lift off and you can just detach it from the rollers at the bottom to use with accessories, walking around and what have you. Uh, I'm going to compare this to the Shark Wand Vac that I have and also the Dyson V6, which is really my main go-to vacuum that's also battery operated and bagless. Uh, with this one, there is a cord, so you don't have to worry about a battery. That is fairly nice, actually. I live in a small place, so I don't expect to really even have to unplug and replug, like maybe one time to actually hit on everything. But yeah, uh, let's open this up, get it set up, and try it out. All right, so in the box, all of this comes as separate pieces, and everything just kind of clips together. Uh, so. One thing that I do really like is they have this little attachment on here that holds the accessories. You have your normal uh, attachment to kind of get into tight spaces and your attachment for upholstery. So both of those, most any vacuum that I've seen, this is just kind of free floating around. So I appreciate that they actually put an attachment on here to hold them when they're not in use. They do still, uh, however, have a hose with a very narrow piece to get into crevices, and there's nowhere to store this. So, A for effort. It's better than a lot of things that I've seen, but yeah. Oh, I also should say everything comes wrapped in this uh, tissue paper is would be too thin, but this uh, heavier paper here, so everything comes very nicely packaged together. When you want to use this as something other than the full-on vacuum, I've got it on the rollers right now. Basically what you need to do is there is a gray clip down here that you just have to press in and the whole thing lifts off of the rollers. And I'll just drop that back on there for the time being. When you want to use this as a handheld device also, you need to disconnect this tube, which there's just another gray locking switch here. You just hit that to unlock it and it pulls right out. You attach your attachments on right here. So that is the basics of how this is put together and works. So let's actually try it out. All right, I've used this vacuum around my entire home. Uh, let's just start off. I used it on regular carpeting first. Uh, it works very well on regular carpeting. I would say the only issues that I have with it with respect to vacuuming and carpeting is that the roller part at the bottom, uh, the standard vacuum part with the rollers down at the uh, bottom that actually brush the carpet, that is too large to really get in underneath places. So if you want to get underneath furniture, this is probably not a good option for you. Also, as you can see while I try to maneuver it around in there, it seems to have a tendency to want to turn. It's a little bit more difficult to hold going straight, only slightly, but still, it's, it's a little bit awkward when you're first starting to use it because the tank is on the top of the tube and therefore it, the center of gravity is very high and it wants to shift to one side or the other. So it does take a small amount of effort to hold it going straight. I did also use it on uh, low pile uh, area rugs, as you can see here. Uh, based on the amount of suction that I'm, I can feel while I'm moving it around, I would say that the suction is comparable to a lower setting on the Dyson V6. The Dyson has a lower setting and a higher power setting, and I would say with how it feels like it's pulling on the carpet, I would say it feels comparable to the lower setting on the Dyson. That being said, there are some things that this does have going for it. While it does feel like the suction is lower, when I went to empty the container, it actually seemed to have gotten more than I typically pull up with the Dyson. So uh, I don't know if that is a function of the uh, rubber brushes rather than traditional bristle, but it does actually seem to get up more than you would expect based on the amount of suction that you can feel pushing it over a carpet where the air does not move through it very easily. Uh, let's see, as far as emptying it, there are two more clips on the top here. You simply pull those up and the container lifts away. You press the black button here and the container opens to empty out. So really it's just a matter of hold this over your trash can, press that, everything falls out. And getting it back in there, 
It is just a matter of pushing it in until you hear it click. Very easy to empty out. And also I will say, <clears throat> It looks like it should be easy to actually get this uh, canister clean if you want to do that because the opening at the bottom is so large you can easily just reach up inside there. Some other things, I did try this on upholstery and as you can see in the footage here, it works okay but the brown stuff that you see on there is a powdered makeup and the fact that this does not have a small roller brush attachment for the upholstery makes it not work so great. I also tried the Dyson on that, and the Dyson didn't really do much better. <clears throat> Maybe slightly, but not dramatically so. Uh, another point that I would like to point out on here is that uh, this attachment for the upholstery is actually two separate parts, and when I was first putting it on there, I actually just pulled it hard enough to completely separate the two, and it looks like it's not meant to do that. So uh, be a little bit careful with how hard you're pulling on this thing. Uh, it will come apart, and I'm not sure how many times it can do that and still snap back together. Uh, some other features on this that I think are worth mentioning. The cord on here is 24 feet, so for my small apartment, that means I can plug it in in a central outlet and have absolutely no issue reaching everywhere in the apartment. Do I actually need a corded uh, thing like this? No, probably not. It does work better than uh, either the Dyson or the Sharp Wombat, but at the same time, it's much larger. It's more than I need in this area, so I'm probably just going to end up selling this. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. They do say that it is not supposed to get anything, uh, any long hairs or anything stuck in the brushes. As you can see here, it looks basically still like new. Um, there is an individual who lives here with a very long hair and I don't see any hairs stuck on here at all. So it does seem like the rollers are going to stay clean. So uh, <clears throat> that is another nice aspect. You're not going to have to pop out the rollers, use scissors to cut off hair or anything like that. It, it's uh, something that should stay relatively clean and functional as you are using it. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer. Uh, otherwise, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.